my spiked iced, iced. I'm drinking some apple cider. Oh, what the hell? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a lip swatch video to share with you and I am so excited because I haven't done one of these in a while and I have the new Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint and I have 10 shades. I think that's every shade. Oh, and they are buy one get one half off. I actually think I may have gotten an even better deal than that because I bought them on National Lipstick Day which has long passed. I have literally been just sitting here having these I haven't tried them yet so yeah they are $9.99 there are 10 shades and right now they were buy one get one half off so you could get two for 15 they are a little pricey to me for a drugstore but if they're great quality I might be eating those words so let's find out I'm gonna start with shades that I think are gonna be lighter so they don't stain my lips too bad I've got some of the Ula Henriksen nurture me wipes on hand and yeah, we're just gonna jump right in and try some of these on. I think the first one I wanna grab is this really neutral looking one. This one is called Pretty Kiss. Is there no label on this one? This is weird. Some of them don't say cushion lip at all. Is that odd? So this is what the one looks like. Cushion lip tint. And then the, these two just have nothing. Isn't that weird? Anyway, so we're gonna go with Pretty Kiss first and you like twist it up maybe i should have like twisted these beforehand i see the color coming maybe i didn't go too far yet so you hold the little top piece and twist okay i'm starting to see some of the color come out so that's what it's looking like there I like the feeling of this applicator a lot more than I thought I would. I don't know what I expected. I didn't know if I would like it or not. This is definitely a pretty nude. I'm gonna let that sit for a second and I wanna look up what it says about these. Pillow tips tinted lips. That took me a moment to understand. Revlon's Kiss Cushion Lip Tint delivers a juicy wash of color with a soft cushion tip applicator in a variety of kissable shades, of course. The look of a stain and feel of a balm. Oh, I hope they don't stain too bad, but Pretty Kiss is looking pretty. Hybrid formula infused with coconut oil to help nourish and protect against dryness. Pillowy soft lip cushion gives a touch of color and builds more impact. Juicy tint with a balm-like finish dries to a blotted lip look. It just says to dab on lips for a tinted juicy look. So I can safely say it definitely has that. It's like tinted and they just have like a light sweet, almost like almondy type of scent to it. I like everything about it so far. I think my lips look good. It was easy to apply. It seems like it may have stained just a little bit. Okay, the next shade I'm going to try is called High End Coral. And it looks pretty orangey on camera. It definitely looks a little bit more coral in person. I can definitely see how if you wanted more of a blotted look, just like let it barely saturate the tip of the applicator and I think you could definitely get that in just like one or two swipes. And you can dab like that. Ooh, look at that color. So that's high-end coral. So again, I think it's staying just a little bit but not bad. If you're looking for like a really good stain to leave color on your lips all day long, I don't really think this is gonna be it. I think it, that more blotted look is definitely what you're gonna be getting from it, but I really like them. I'm pleasantly surprised because I didn't know what to expect. And then I have this, which hopefully is gonna be my favorite color. It kind of feels like it is. This is called Pink in Real Life. Just starting to come through there. Okay, I feel like I like these more and more with every application. Not only do I really like this color, but I think you can really tailor this. You can go super light, like that blotted look that I showed you, or you can really kind of layer it on for a more intense, kind of creamy, intense kind of lip color. Cause it's amazing. They're giving a lot of color, more than I expected. Um, to be honest, I thought that there was a possibility these wouldn't give that much color or wouldn't have that much of an impact but i actually think this is really really pretty and i hope that my camera is doing it justice because it looks super washed out from my view but hopefully it looks better for you guys i'm kind of worried so that's pink in real life 
So I don't quite know what to grab next because let me give you guys a little look. These are the rest of the colors. So I'm leaning towards like these four. But honestly, they all look like they're going to be a little bit on the darker side. So we're just going to go in and find out. This is called Fancy Rose. And I'm wondering if this is going to look like a Lolita or something like that. That would be really interesting. So let's get to twisting. So that's Fancy Rose. It's a little bit of a, I almost want to call this like a chocolate rose if that makes sense. Because it's a little bit of that like 90s brown, but it's got like this little pinky red to it. I don't know how to explain it. It's like Lolita and a little bit of chocolate. Next we've got Crimson Fields, which is hopefully going to be a nice bright red. This is so pretty, okay. I didn't know what to expect. Again, I've said that before, but I really didn't know if I would like these because I like really super saturated lips. But even though these do have that like not 100% opaque look to them, they're so pretty. Hmm. We are halfway through. I'm filming our lip swatch video. Next, we're gonna go with the shade Naughty Mauve. Ooh, that might be my favorite. Ooh, that one popped a little bit. <laughs> Next, we've got the shade Berry Lit. I think I'm gonna like this one too. So there is Berry Lit. It's more of like a bright magenta color than a berry, but it's so, so pretty. It's like a bright berry color, you know, you know what I mean? All right, we're down to some dark vampy shades. Here's what we got going. So these are a little bit browner and then we've got a deeper berry. I'm gonna start with this brown, which I'm hoping is a little lighter than the others. This one's called Chocolate Pop. So there is Chocolate Pop. I like it better than I expected, but I think a lot of the pink of my lips and the stains of the others are kind of showing through. It's not my favorite personally. I just don't typically like dark browns on me. Just a personal preference and my skin tone being really fair and kind of pinkish in undertone. I just don't think that it meshes well, but I could definitely still wear this. This next one is called Extra Violet. You can definitely twist these a lot less to just kind of stick with that more light blotted lip. I'm just kind of going overboard. We've got one last shade called Wine Trip. So we are going to put it to the test and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So if you guys want to twist them up just a bit and get more of this look, which is just more of a sheer, less opaque kind of blotted lip, go for it. I like to twist mine up a little bit more and get more saturated color. Totally personal preference. I do love that you can do either though. So there is Wine Trip. I really like this one actually. It is more of a deep wine berry type of shade, but I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. If you can hear noise, it's my cats. All right, guys, that is every shade in the Revlon Cushion Lip Tints. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the colors tried on and my thoughts on them. Overall, I really do like them and more than I expected. These are definitely versatile. I feel like you can go for an ultra blotted light sheer kind of look or you can kind of layer it on and what I really like is what's going to happen after I wear this for a little while is that it will dry down to that kind of a lip stain type of look and I can easily throw a little bit of gloss over top rather than having to reapply a liquid lip or something like that which does not layer well so I like the aspect that is versatile and something that I can use all day long without a lot of hassle so I really like it for that fact I don't love the price point I mean I know that maybe 
I will pay much more for a high-end product that's crazy but when it comes to a drugstore product I do want my value I'm looking for a value driven product so $9.99 is a little bit high but the majority of the time you can get them on special buy one get one half off is very frequent at Ulta and I know like Walgreens and CVS will do it as well so definitely be on the lookout if you're interested in purchasing them you can go check out Ulta right now hopefully it'll still be on sale but I would wait until you can get a good deal especially if you're picking up multiples if you just like one of the colors hey 10 bucks it's not that bad so that is the whole shebang I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these lip swatches if you like these type of videos leave me a thumbs up and if you have specific lip collections you'd like to see me do some swatches of or maybe just like what I have from a brand whether it be like Jeffree Star or Colourpop I have a lot of those those are just like to name a few or my MAC lip collection I could swatch that so yeah let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments and leave me those thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here on my channel and make sure to turn on notifications as well. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.